Adam Sills, Marketing Product Specialist for Massey Ferguson Tractors. When you're a farmer, you've got a lot of jobs. Big, small, you've all got to get done. You don't have the space or ability to afford multiple tractors for multiple jobs. You need a tractor heavy enough for draft work, but light enough to do a little spraying, spreading, and still be able to feed the cows. At Massey Ferguson, we've heard you, and that's what we've done with the new straightforward and dependable 7S series made specifically for mixed farm operations where two days are never the same. Whether you're round baling, pulling a disc, or have a quick loader job to do, the 7S is well suited for the task at hand. All our models are powered by our proven Agco Power 6.6 .6 liter engine that's used in other agriculture machinery around the world. Pair that Agco Power engine with either a Dyna 6 or Dyna VT transmission. The Dyna 6 is a semi-power shift transmission with four ranges and 24 total gears. The Dyna VT is our continuously variable transmission, known worldwide for its performance, efficiency, and comfortable operation. Select infinite speeds from less than 100 feet per hour up to 31 miles per hour. To comply with emission standards, we have an all-in-one after-treatment system with a passive regeneration. All components are located below the cab, giving you excellent forward visibility. The 7S has a wheelbase of 9.5 feet with perfect weight distribution of 45% on the front axle and 55% on the rear axle. This ensures best traction and stability when pulling those tough tools and maneuvering those heavy trailers. There are two types of Massey Ferguson loaders for this tractor, a non-self-leveling and mechanical self-leveling. Both come standard with soft drive loader suspension and have a variety of attachments like a grapple or bale spear. There are three types of loader provisions for this tractor a two-function M-Command, which is a cable-operated mechanical joystick, a two-function E-Command with electronic joystick, and a two-function E-Command with live third. Both E-Command options will come with a quick coupler for a single-action electrical and hydraulic hookup. The 7S has several hydraulic pump options, a 29, a 39, or a 50-gallon per minute closed center load sensing pump. On Dyna 6 models, you can have up to four rear remotes, and on Dyna VT models, you can have up to five. And both can have power beyond. The rear hitch on the 7S can be configured in two ways, either telescoping ball ends or hook ends. Both options are category three, and they can come with a hydraulic top link. This tractor can also come with all four PTO speeds, 540, 540E, 1000, and 1000E. It also has a flange PTO shaft, so switching between sizes is straightforward and easy. With front-mounted implements becoming more and more popular, the 7S can be fitted with a Category 3 front hitch, with or without a PTO. Just like other S-Series tractors from Massey Ferguson, we have two cab versions. The cab you see here is the deluxe version. If you're a professional hay producer, you'll appreciate the added comfort features of this cab, like standard cab suspension. For those customers who will just be using this for a basic loader tractor or mixer tractor, we have a classic cab. The Classic Cab provides an even more straightforward operation with basic transmission controls and mechanical hydraulic levers. Let's go over some of the controls. Next to our new steering wheel, we have our power control lever. Use this to shuttle between forward and reverse. You can also use it in Dyna 6 models to shift gears up or down, or in Dyna VT models, you can use it to increase or decrease speed. On the other side, we have our turn signals, lights, and horn. On the new deluxe armrest from Massey Ferguson, the main control is the multi-pad. On Dyna 6 transmissions, this will be used to shift. Press forward to shift up, or pull back to shift down. On Dyna VT transmissions, this will be used to increase or decrease speed. For both transmissions in auto mode, if you press forward and pass the detent, it will automatically increase to the preset maximum speed. Let's go over some of the functions of the multi-pad. At the top, we have our Profile 1 and Profile 2. For Dyna VT models, this will change between low and high range. When shifting between the ranges, make sure you're in neutral and the tractor is not moving. Below that is the scroll wheel. Use this to adjust your maximum speed. Next is your up and down of the rear three point a cruise one, a cruise two, and an engine speed memory. To the right is a micro joystick used to control two hydraulic valves. You can freely assign these to any valve using the Datatronic 5. 
Below that is another cluster of buttons for MF Guide, two freely assignable function one and function two buttons, and a shuttle control for forward and reverse. Below the multipad, we have a minimum engine speed preset, hand throttle, and engagement for auto drive. Next to the multipad is the E-Command joystick used for controlling the front loader or a front hitch. Functions of this joystick include increasing and decreasing tractor speed, proportional control over a third function, a fourth function, shuttle between forward and reverse, and a freely assignable F3 button. No other loader joystick out there provides the functionality of both loader and tractor functions like the Massey Ferguson E-Command. In the middle of the armrest, we have our manual and auto engagement for diff lock and four wheel drive, lockout for E-Command joystick, audio controls, depth control for the rear hitch, rear PTO switch, front PTO switch if equipped, and auto PTO, which will turn the PTO on at a specified rear hitch height. On the right console are your fingertip controls for your other rear remotes. On the classic tractors, these will be mechanical levers. Above that is a hydraulic lockout. On the right side pillar, we have a centralized location for individual light controls, PTO speed selection, position or draft control, rate of lower and maximum lift height of the rear hitch. This button is the active transport control button. Press this button when you're transporting heavy mounted implements for a dampening effect that'll protect the tractor and make for a smoother ride. At the bottom, we have our marker lights, our road lights, our on and off for cab suspension, on and off for front axle suspension, brake to neutral, ISO bus, and the sensitivity selection for the OptiRide active cab suspension. At the back of the right console, we have two USB charging ports and a raise and lower for your rear hitch to help when you're turned around hooking up those rear implements. Behind the seat, we have a constant 12 volt power supply to run a baler monitor. This switch here activates the 12 volt power supply to be controlled by headland management sequences. Below that is your wheel speed output and diagnostic port. On the deluxe cab, you get a Datatronic 5. The Datatronic 5 will control all your tractor functions, ISO bus, any type of precision ag like guidance, and even rear cameras. You can also get an additional FieldStar 5 display so you can have tractor functions down here and your guidance up here all at the same time. On classic cabs, you'll just get a FieldStar 5. You can use it for guidance, ISO bus, or cameras, but all your tractor functions will be through the system information screen on the dash. The 7S wouldn't be a premium tractor without some precision farming technologies. MF Guide Auto Guidance, MF Connect Telemetry, MF Section and Rate Control, and MF Task Dock Data Management can all be selected, giving you improved productivity and profitability through higher yields and lower input costs. If you need a straightforward and dependable tractor that is as versatile as your operation, then the 7S is a tractor for you. Available with a wide selection of horsepowers, transmissions, cab specifications, hydraulic pumps, and PTO options, you can tailor your Massey Ferguson 7S to precisely match your farm's needs, maximizing the value of your tractor. For more information on the new 7S series tractor, please contact your local dealer or visit us at MasseyFerguson.com.